Let's make sure my All right. I think I got everything. I think we're live. We're live. We're back. After an extended hiatus for the last time. Welcome, Bears and Dragons. Where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play dungeons. And we play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, sadly, this will be the last episode of Bears and Dragons. Disgusting. Sadly, we're a player, and we're a good fault. stopping point. <clears throat> My fault. Yeah. You got a better job. It's okay. Look, it is understandable. Ow. Definitely in this economy. <laughs> in any case, uh, previously at Bears and Dragons, anybody remember what happened last time? Okay. <clears throat> um, anybody go to the tape? That would have been the smart thing to do. Probably. I know we're making yeah. final preparations for the Pudding King. We, we, were... defeated, we defeated some Basilis. Found out Thembachard was alive. And into Crad. Pretty much giving him a reason to. <laughs> uh, I had a dream. Um, what's his name? Uh, not Helm, Bahamut, Borcat. No, not Borcat. My dragon. Your patron. Yeah. yeah. Borcat. Bahamut. Not li I didn't say little Borkad. I said Borkad. Oh, is his name actual? Actually, Borkad. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, he uh told me that we're almost there, right? Um, I don't know. Uh, you did. I believe you spent the. Uh... Uh, at uh, Elite Pro. Oh, yeah. Found it. Right, you were able to. I return. lost my notes. I took notes last time, but I guess I didn't save it. Automatically. Anyway. So, uh, you guys uh, uh, fought some basilisks. Um, um, went back to the real like, grove where the... <laughs> Tonight, but how about a bit in the cave that I uh, came back to Blinden Stone, found Urgar waiting for you, ended up the uh, Thumber Todd polished form. Uh, and, he's and now, Karad has a reason to go uh, up above with us. I remember mm -hmm. that. To the surface. Maybe once you hit the surface. When... <clears throat> I asked you. Are we... Originally, when you, I think before the, you asked us about that before everything with Thembuchard, and because originally Crowd was just going to stay in 
Linden Stone and work at the end. <laughs> End of that episode, I said, hey, the surface, I want you to tell me what happens after. And I have the battle of Blingdon Stone. The Dagger Maddox um, get everybody together. Uh, the Miss and Magic People uh, has uh, coded all of the uh, militia's weapons with um, a coating from the from the uh, fungi that you acquire from Dave Grove uh, to prevent them from eroding while they attack a bunch of um, limes. Uh, along with that, the um, they were. Okay, the Stoneheart Enclave slave were able to summon a bunch of earth elementals in the ghosts uh, led by led by Barrel Warden Jaggard. Jaggard will also be And the plan ends up being that the Earth Elementals will will basically lead the charge into the pudding court to distract the uh, slimes that have been gathering. Well, your group want to keep it small, so they're keeping it to Brad, Lassiter, Lyra, Holly. Well, you try to sneak around and um, go after the pudding. Got the Earth Elementals leading the charge. I am Digger Gold Whiskers, the Ear Rats. We'll be following them up there more. Uh, then uh, a, the rear guard will be near the command of Chief Dorbo Digger Matic. And they'll be providing some range support, and the ghosts will participate by attacking from above and below. Plan is to get you to the Pudding King. Other faction hold the east. Sounds like a neat plan. Is there anything you would That's... like to do before the battle begins? Pray. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, I would think the days leading up to the attack, Syra would be using both her arcane eye and Sova to kind of scout out the paths for all the other armies and groups to both ambush and distract, kind of helping them strategize. investigate uh, easily enough your eye came that I doesn't seem to have been sensed at all um, you with your the information they're able to position uh, elementals around the pudding pudding court uh, to basically 
block them off from all access from the side tunnels so that you guys can can sneak around um, and groups of rats the earth elemental and you also help provide uh, some great position good positioning spots for for the range support to be back from I know Krad will be um, spending time uh, helping with any um, weapons and armor preparation. If there's any repairs, making weapons that need to be done. Uh, do you do you have a, a smith tool proficiency or what proficiency? I have, uh, yeah, I have cooking, leatherworking, and smith tools plus tinker tools. I'm quite I'm quite good with my hands. Are you skilled? I am skilled. What what uh, method would you? How is it your uh, tool proficiency? I would do smithing tools like working the forges and helping like repair any like armor that needs help uh, repairs. So I'm guessing some stuff is there's a lot of damage to help. Uh, um, so probably, yeah, focusing on repairing what they already have, since it would take too long to create new ones. Uh, give me a... How will this... Think this tool. Yeah. Well, uh, thirty twelve. Able, yeah, you're able to help out. Uh, it's just me. You, you basically help fill in the blank. Those two. Uh, it wasn't much, but they did appreciate your help. It was enough. Um, I'll just help out wherever I'm needed. I don't have any specific uh, skills that's needed for this time. So you basically stay out of the way. <laughs> Unless someone says, hey, you, come get this, or whatever. <laughs> Fine. There's any, any RP moments? Uh, I try to stay around Ron if possible is he even here yeah he's he's in the tavern ah never mind then fuck him okay. <laughs> oh sorry you too uh they fuck on you uh hey oh um i'd come up to if they're in the area, Karad or Syra or both, say, hey, this is probably our last time fighting together. What are, you, what are your plans? Well, <clears throat> when I was kidnapped by the drow, I was looking for my father, but I probably will stop at home first. I haven't seen mother in who knows how long at this point we've been here for for ages Brad, do you think you're gonna um make uh you know a cooking what are those places called restaurants or whatever make your own tavern or whatever well well can to say I'm not sure what much we're gonna do we be a thermo Never been to the surface. We don't know. I mean, he's a whole dragon. You could do whatever you want to be. But we honest. don't know the surface world. That's true. <laughs> you could hang Our around whole lives. us for a bit. <laughs> Maybe Syrah. Maybe Syrah. Oh. 
Yeah, I maybe. See. I don't know. We probably just try to slowly make our, wor- our way through and find a new home. I mean, there's there's plenty of room in the manor, but I'd have to send Warren to Mother first, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind too much. I always willing to work. You know I'm a good cook. I'm trying to oh, new cool. foods. New foods. Oh my god. I bet y'all oh, do you have or do you guys have the same stuff down here that you do up there? Oh, I mean similar, but the, the, the cooking methods down here are very foreign to us up up up, up on the surface. I'm sure once, I'm sure she'd be a little, mm, I don't know what the um, right word is, not squeamish, but hesitant. But I think when I, she started to smell what you were creating, she'd give it a try. I can try to get a message out to her if you want. I have sending. Oh, well, that is true. But... gone for months. Yeah. I just need her name, I think. I don't know. But imagine the surprise of me suddenly turning up after missing for so long. I think the look on her face would be priceless. Did y'all have a good relationship before coming here? It was straining, but... I mean, she's the one that sent me to look out for Father in the first place. He uh, wasn't always there. There was there was rumors that he was, well, I'm ashamed to admit it, but perhaps even a pirate. But I don't think that's entirely true. But she never spoke of him too much. Uh, I'm probably just gonna, you know, do my thing, uh, visit taverns. Hang out. Where are you having this conversation? <laughs> I don't know. They could probably at the end. Yeah. yeah. Probably after, like, every day after our our tasks that we've been doing. It's kind of hey, recounting what we're... Of, uh, some food. Yeah, just kind of recounting our, our pasts and, and futures and... Yeah, you feel feel a hand on the back of your head, Lassiter. It kind of just pets you. And, oh, I have like. I bet you do, big guy. Yeah. Awkward. Okay. <laughs> the day finally comes oh. where where it's time for. Oh, I got more. I'm sorry. I don't know, how's this, if Holly or Gage had anything? Holly's gonna come, uh, hang out with you guys at your manor. With Holly? What does Holly Holly say? She she definitely wouldn't. She has her tribe to go back to. I mean, she'll be. So she says. We don't know nothing about her comrade. Except that Holly has something against Syrah. I don't think she has anything against me personally. It's just she has the incorrect belief that she's prettier. She's allowed to believe that. And, uh, Gage kind of just been there. He's always there, and I'm very grateful for his, uh, help. But just... He just says... Your king? Come here. Uh, do... Would... We know what that is. Uh, are you? 
So where where is Lassiter from? Just the Sword Coast in general, or yeah, just Sword Coast. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Give me just give me a history check. Um, history. Sixteen. Uh, you've heard a little bit about Cormier, something about purple uh, dragon knights, and uh, somewhere. Far to the east. Uh, do y'all have a purple dragon? I always wondered that. Uh, no. Fortunately, I have not gotten the privilege of becoming a purple dragon. And no. Oh, darn. But that's not the <clears throat> dragon. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into argument with that one. Uh, yeah, that would be good for you, I hope. As long as they're good people. Home Are, is, is your king a good king, or does he, you know... Of course. Sure, people, okay. All good things. All good things. Uh, <clears throat> all um, right. So, looking at the map, I think we're done that. Let's get into the planning stage. Looking at the map, you know where the pudding court is up in. The map is northeast, but it's really like northwest. Yeah. yeah it was somewhere. Over here, I believe. West. West. North. So, which, how, what do you, what's your route to? He was, like, to the outermost skirting. So, like, so we know he's, like, over in this area, right? So probably we want to, like. I would think the outer skirts to avoid this giant job giant nest like in the middle here. <laughs> that kind of route. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Sounds like a nice plan. I'm just worried about the... Technically, it's the West Vermeer. <laughs> Caves closing in or something. Like us getting uh, separated from each other. That would suck. So I'm going to pull you over to the other map. That's even more terrifying. Everything's fine. Zoomed in. Actually seeing them. Their numbers. Do they multiply? Like uh, other fantasy slimes do? Fantasy slimes? Uh, like, <clears throat> I've never faced these things before in any of my games. If you kill one, does another one just do they just split or be on the player or whatever? Maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, one so way to find out. You're, you guys are positioning yourself in the upper. upper <laughs> left. Oh, me. Yeah. I'll engage on there already. So you can see the plan of attack. Uh, I basically just put a few were rats. I, just imagine that there's much more of them. And no. a bunch of other uh, Neblin are around as Nibby well. Dorbin. Nibby Dorbin.
But the battle of Blinged and Stone has begun. Position coming in from various directions, they surround the um, mass of slimes in to as the putting, putting court to basically uh, cage them in, try to thin their numbers as best they can. Uh, whether they'll actually be able to succeed in taking care of that, uh, we don't know yet. But uh, your mission, of course, is to find to find the Pudding King and put him in. Somebody roll me. They got it. The D6. All right. All right. What do you guys do? Well, the battle's raging. Um, how are they looking like they're doing so far? Uh, the this battle has just, just begun. Blast. Hard to tell, considering all the walls. Uh, advance, I guess. I'm staying in the rear. Just in case someone needs a little uh, touch-up or two. I will probably up front. Really? Okay. She's the tank. Is she? Oh, Holly. Okay. <laughs> I heard all. I L F. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do anything too. I guess as we're running past, uh, <clears throat> any slimes that Moving up kind of present an opportunity, just throw a few fire bolts out, try to clear a path for some people, or do do some damage as we run through. Gage, we're moving up. You gotta move up. Move up I, with I, us. I, I, I just... <laughs> he's, he's taking up the rear. <clears throat> so yeah, as we pass through that first little corridor, just throw out some fire bolts. Just kind of... Singeing and healing if possible. Uh, as you approach here, uh, you find... Uh, Gray oozes and ochre jelly drop from the ceiling in front of you. Those three beautiful words. Ew. Followed by bad roll. On my part, my bad. Heal damage then. Thank him. I could cause damage and heal it up. Say sorry afterwards. <laughs> Don't have to heal if there's no one to <laughs> to do damage to. I do a little little uh Eldritch Blast, friendly Eldritch Blast, <laughs> and then he was like, killing word to kill it. Ooh. 
what do you think a friendly Elgish blast would look like? Like pain. <laughs> yeah. See, I always imagined Eld Eldritch Blast to like resemble what your patron would be, so. That's fine. <laughs> and it's two to Dex. Not last. All right, Holly. All right. Good. Run up Good. Here. Oh, there you are. We are gonna r r r r rage. I need Dex check. In so so. Bad type. From all of them. They're all within 10 feet. DC 16. Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> he, I the, know the it. Jelly makes right. it. All right. In a nice, nice twist. This matrix dodge. Yeah, two more. That was... And yep, <laughs> the, 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 the oozes take damage. So the oozes will take five. The jelly takes two. And we're going to do our Wambo Cambo of Reckless, Great Weapon Master. Uh, first attack on this jelly right here, right in front of her. You'll see a nine doesn't hit. A nine does not. Actually, does it. Oh, okay. Go, Holly. 28 damage. And she's squashing. Move here. And do the same thing over to that one. Um, that's going to hit. That's it. That's a 10. That's dead. <laughs> Anything else? Wait. Movement, bonus action, action. Right. Anything else? Fyra. <clears throat> He's gonna run, run on up one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stop it. She will target the ooze in front of her. And. Great weapon, not great weapon, well, uh, <laughs> uh, normal roll. That'll hit. Alright, and then the fire will leap off to the ochre jelly. Doing 13 to him. And then normal stabby. Throw out 20! And then uh, the it's with the same guy, right? 
Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, right, you didn't know that the fire is like. But it doesn't look like a good. Uh oh. Grad. All right. We go up to here. We go up to here. And we're going to. going to heighten cast actually no we're not because they're not that great not that yeah but yeah they're not that dexterous so we're we're not going to do that we're just going to go ahead and up uh, do a third level vimachad's blaze so i need a deck saving throw from jelly and I do have um, Elemental Adept Fire. They fail. So, 24 fire damage. Rising up in a little bit. Actually, a bit. Then we will picking cast a firebolt. Definitely going to hit. Twenty three fire damage. Just turn to Syra. Just turn to Syra. That's how you do fire. I turn and, to and Gage I, and say high five. I, I, I have to say that the actually just the fire. I give Gage a high five. <laughs> Well, don't worry, you haven't seen the best of what I can do just yet. You did it, Gage. Alright. Uh, 60? Yeah, 60 for me. <clears throat> that's a little more, but that's okay. 120 for me. Same. Just looks like it looks pretty clear. Yeah. Uh, Sarah will kind of glance back at the group of the armies fighting, see you know 
how, how old they're faring. I would be able to see him. Yep. Uh, Corners. Hey, I'm just sure you're, sure you're all moving up now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just checking on the armies, and if it seems like they're doing okay, I will advance up. See, see um, this uh, raggedly looking, looking like like slime covered. Uh, no. Uh, it, it points at you. And, Empower them, my precious children. Make your brother proud. And you bolt as dropping from the ceiling. In front of you. Who's dropped from the ceiling in front of you? Their forms flowing in your direction. They're just. So I need it again. Image is that probably just oh my so Holly really wants to be first in this this whole thing. <laughs> well it's hard for her not to when she has advantage on initiative rolls. <laughs> oh yeah. She just has to roll really bad. Oh my. That one. Uh, Is the orc actually in there? No. Okay. <laughs> it's the art. Really pretty. The crab. just gonna like point like at this this spot right here he's just gonna point and snap his fingers and it's just gonna heighten cast a uh <laughs> fourth level fireball so it's a deck saving throw at disadvantage yeah they they fail. Both take thirty three fire damage. Prince can does your fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, the princess seemed to, to uh, take it in stride. And we're just going to heighten cast another, or not, um, quick and cast another fire, uh, firebolt. Natural 20! Get away from that bitch. Sure. <laughs> uh, is it that full 20 or just the fire a little? One word. It, so let's see I rolled and <clears throat> oh yeah so should that only be 15 or is that that one no, it's any, um, it's every time I do fire damage, I add my charisma. Does it, it doesn't matter how many gotcha. times, it's every single fire damage I do, charisma. Gotcha. It, and it. You just did. Yeah. So around 70 points of damage in one turn. Uh, that ooze, for lack of a better term, looks pretty rough. Mm. Ollie. How quick would you say, like, would her rage still be up? Uh, I would say this is kind of a back to practically back to back, but there's okay. a downside, but she's probably still. Because it's like a minute. Like, in between, like, she has it for a minute. So, all right, so we're going to need a deck save from that. Oh, 16? makes it. So four. Lightning damage. And. Right. The lightning that hits, hits. So now, the usual Wambo Cambo. Uh, we're going to do this one. Probably going to matter. Okay. So, 13. 13 hits. Pretty nice. That's dead. But there's still one up. Move forward. Attack again. And this is <laughs> Wambo Cambo. It's gonna I hit. I should have lugged you guys up this. <laughs> it's a lot of It should be dead. Because that's... I'm not sure why it's not showing up. It's showing up, but it's a 10 on the die. Oh, okay. So, there we go. There 17. 17. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Keep this initiative order. <laughs> It's like it's our last combat. Fuck it, go all out. <laughs> what are resources after this game? Well, you kind of overkilled on a few. These hey, are I crit it. I can't help for a crit. <laughs> all right, are we Good free to just keep running forward, or are we still in turn? Which way did he? Oh yeah, we are still in turn order, aren't we? 
Well, I, I, I would say we're we're out of initiative. I'm just like Keeping instead it. of rerolling your. Nigger. So, running, dashing. Do this now. Come on, Karina. The party full of gays. Killing lots of ooze, snapping all the way. How <laughs> dare you? I'm just kidding. Ooh. Oozy. Oozy. <laughs> They're gooey. Don't touch the goo. Touch the goo, don't touch the goo, baby. The Pudding King seems to be cowering behind his slime covered throne and twirls in his joy. Blue Calais, now you can join the party. The one with the flick face is Lord, just let yourselves be disgorged. Yourselves be. Yeah. No. I'm not in the war. <laughs> this doesn't that have to not end my cup this way. Tea. You just come out quietly, peacefully, and we'll let you live you're you're just a uh, you don't belong with these oozes you're insane we can get you help you tried <laughs> yeah i tried can I roll, like, a persuasion check? Knowing uh, that he's insane, I know that it's, it's like, pointless, but, you know, it's a roll. <laughs> Not 20. Uh, what am I doing? Skills. Oh. Uh. I don't know, my persuasion is pretty good. Well, close to a 20. Uh, no, you must be in this course. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's pretty far gone. Alright, Brad. Brad. Just, you know, do your thing. My thing? Yeah. So, you can imagine uh, behind, behind going, buddy, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Krad's actually going to fish into his pocket and pull out the spell gem. And kind of just like place it in his hands and activate the uh, fifth level emulation spell he has in there. Stored in there. Um, and why the hell not? We are going to heighten cast it so he has disadvantage on it. Yeah, DC 17 deck save. So, he rolled at it like shit. He tripped. Ouch. Uh, wait a sec. Let me look at that because I think it's so. Fire rage. 35 and he's burning his hand on his. That's what I'm trying to read. Um.
Newt, Newt. Yeah, so it takes 35 now, and um, he is on fire. So he, um, he's burning target, uh, burning target sheds bright light in 30 feet and dim light for additional 30. At the end of each of its turns, it repeats the saving throw. And then if it fails, it takes the 10, the 10 damage or 4d6 damage. Yeah. 35 to begin with. And at the end of. At the end. That's, uh. Yeah, because that's an action to cast that. Even though it doesn't cast a spell slot. So that's all. Polly. Oh, her full forty. She's going to pull out her javelin. And she's going to throw it at him. Okay. Uh, reckless. That should hit. I'll hit. 11. Oh, oh really? It just says melee damage. It technically is melee. Oh, we need. But it's a melee weapon. M ranged melee. Not ranged spell. No. No. <laughs> no. I, mean, I know you're pretty, but no. <laughs> it's hard. Anyways. That was one attack. You have another javelin? If I'm look. Yeah, she has four. <laughs> I had to look. I'm like, does she have another one? Is it 15 hit? Uh, uh, no, it does not. She's not used to javelins, so. Kind of just dodges to the side of after other one. Age breaks out. Uh,. Let other people have a turn at this. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, he doesn't have a range weapon. Can I, can I double? Yeah, that's pretty much all you can do. Uh, that means it's the Pudding King's turn. Oh, let me see. Enemy's getting a turn? What? I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not fair. We did something wrong. Quickly here. How far up is he? Would you say it's just like five feet, so technically ten yeah, feet of movement. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I can still get to him. Next turn. Uh, so, uh, everybody in the back just see, sees the Pudding King just kind of, like, out of sight behind everything. But Holly and uh, Gage see that the Pudding King seems to melt into his, his black orifice. Tension? And then it just moves over to get gay. Age four. Fortunately, he's wearing uh, magical armor, so. He smacks Gage around. Lasseter. Gage looks bloodied. Bloodied? Fuck. Okay. Got some um, acid, acid burns on his face. Okay, buddy. You're doing fine. Um, fuck, I didn't plan for someone to actually be getting hit. Uh, <laughs> char cure wounds is touch. Um, I don't want to get close. I feel weird, dude. Let's let's try this. Um, so I'm gonna get here, I think. Yeah, I can I can get there. And uh I'm gonna cast life transference. Um that's gonna Okay. 
I did, but I want to cast this because <laughs> why not? 15 um, health towards him, I get 15 damage. Uh, do you mean 30 health? Oh. Twice the necrotic damage. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, 30. 15. Uh, he gains 30. Oh. Awesome. I I passed that part equal to twice the necrotic damage. Awesome, yeah. Oh, that, that, that's better than Healing Word, in a way. Yeah, but if, you have spare, if you have the spare life. Yeah. And luckily, I do. Uh, that's an uh, action spell, I believe. Oh. Yeah. I would assume that's an action. Bonus action. I don't think I really have any bonus actions. Um... <laughs> That's my turn. Stay up, buddy. I mean, all right, Syra. I'm just gonna move back one. Syra's gonna draw out her blade and like this kind of twirl flourish, along with her blade dance. Her, her, uh, did you take the ten? Did we do the saving? We didn't do the saving throw, did we? Well, he'll take. He he does a saving throw, and if he fails, he takes the damage. Oh, okay. So he fails. So he'll take ten. Now let me just wait, double check, make sure that like I have to cast the spell. Like the five doesn't get added to that. I don't. Yeah, whenever you cast a spell. So since it's already the same spell effect, it doesn't. It's not added. Alright, Alright, so she'll flourish and draw her blade with her blade song. And she will 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When she gets there, she'll kind of kick off the wall. And then she will vanish and cast. So, number one. Oops. Uh, that didn't actually do a, a roll. It's supposed to do a roll. Um, hold on. Come on, don't do that to me now. Okay, I fixed it. All right, here we go again. Roll number one. Twenty-eight. <laughs> All right, for twenty-four damage. Number two. Number three. Still alive. Uh, so, <laughs> bam. As you make that second one, what ends up being skewered on your on your rapier is a a, a deep note. Uh, that ends up freaks as he dissolves a dense pile of goo, saying, You haven't won! No! We will rise from our children! We were born! It is Lord! We blacks will consume the banquet of the Queen of the of Fungi and. I can't hear you. I'm still teleporting. 
<laughs> and then, of course, as the spell ends, I, I must always finish it in my anime pose, <laughs> five feet away. <laughs> my superhero landing. Kill her on the knees. As you uh, actually comment quickly, uh, one thing you did also see, uh, you notice you were kind of in a rush, but um, I'm guessing either Lassiter or Syrah might have noticed books that had dropped from the big ooze. Hey, what were the contents? find a, a book titled Underland Magic. Uh, opening it up, it is a spell book. Painting these spells. Oh. Uh, the other book is called Magic from Beyond the Mirror. It contains these spells. Damn. Just, just a few spells. Just a just few. Just a couple. Just a couple. Too bad you're not Order of the Scribe. You can get write those down like lickety split. I mean, with enough money, you can learn all of them. <laughs> the next campaign's BBEG, Syrah. Of all the spells. She goes mad with power. He killed her mom. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Well, now that we, now that we have brought him down, um, I guess if Holly wants to carry him back as proof, and I want to go check on the, the rest of the armies, see if they're still fighting. Uh, you do Hello? hear uh, some, uh, some sounds of a fierce battle taking. <laughs> Uh, before you can turn the corner, popping up from the ground, uh, you find, you see, two Glebador. Uh, as well as Sarah Warden, Warden J. And he says, says, Ah, oh, it seems like you finished everything. Uh, time to go. Uh, would you like some some transport back? Uh, we have been able to make some progress. We've kept them at bay, but they're still there. I don't know what. Because right. why not? Do you need help fighting off the rest of the oozes? Uh... No, we think we can contain them. They seem to be uh, a little bit more docile. It's just they're still here. We need the EXP. <laughs> uh, I think if you um, get to the surface, you'll be able to gain a level, but that's just me. <laughs> What's a level? <laughs> Long story you wouldn't understand until you get up to the surface, I'm sure. Yeah. Our, oh, our... No. Job is done here. Uh, he says, "All right, get together, lads and lassies." And the door uh, kind of like surrounds you, and end up they pound their fists into the grounds, and all of a sudden you just like. And the next thing oh. you know, you 
You are Dad. back here. Oh no! Oh, okay. Sorry. Here. Oh, that's fun. Uh, you see, uh, Dorbo Diggermatics, uh, uh, coming back up. Senny's uh, uh, following him, kind of fussing over him. He looks a little like he's gotten a little scarred from something. Wow, what a fight! Oh, ow! Oh, for just a moment, let me up. Uh, well, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, everything seems to have calmed down. Uh, it's going to take some time to clean up the uses. Uh, but it seems like they're not in quite the frenzy that they were before. And we came for now and just gradually up them. Uh, that's basically what we needed to do. They were a bitch in that battle. And oh my god, it was crazy. If you say uh, so. You see a couple of earth elementals stomping, stomping in some have like our pock thing, but they. Uh, you do see a group of uh, rare rats uh, coming to the area. Uh, he's wrapped up in in bandage. But it seems like uh, most everybody is alive, as far as you're aware of. Yes, our, our oh. friend Gage also took a nasty burn to the face as well, but I think he's he's healing as well as he can. Battle scars. Uh, well, um, hey. Uh, I think we're at a place where we are the rest. Uh, and I'd like to thank you guys uh, for all you've done. Brad, welcome to the family. Um, and Oh, he's staying with us, actually. Really? Really? What happened? Oh, I heard something about a Durgar coming by. Did... Who is that guy? An old friend. Oh, good. Well, uh, Taffy's, what, what? Taffy's okay with him, right? Yeah. Back to... Yeah, yeah, we... He was pretty injured. He's fine. Okay, well, um, why don't you guys go take a rest, celebrate, uh, have a feast. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, you did such a great job. You guys helped out. I think we should cook for you. Oh, that, that's... sit back, relax, and have a feast, and we'll celebrate. And then, after you get a long night's rest, take you. I'll have a guide take you to the tunnel. Sadly, can't. Just, we've got a lot. Still got a lot of work to do here, but I think the hard work is done. Just clean up. So. But we can get you to a place where you can get up to this. No problem. Basically uh, the same way we came in. Finally, going home. An adventure. So you all head back to the foamy mug. Uh, Tappy has already has brought out the good kegs. Full of wine and beer. Um, having, uh, you also smell the wonderful smells. Uh, Ember is happy to see Brad. And uh, Ember oh, uh, is uh, sitting at a table and he's got a cane with him laying on the table and he's sipping what looks to be. And uh, the Diggermatics come in and say, 
I've got a chef that will do the cooking for Karad. Make sure he does not enter that kitchen. I can help. Not you either. Okay. You guys relax. Enjoy the celebration. All these Smurf Meblin come in. I'm just like scarred and, and battered and bruised. Bruised, but everybody seems right mood. As the kegs are are tapped, the drinks are flowing. Delicious smells are coming from the kitchen of the Smurfevelin comes out for a glorious. Ah, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna just bum rush Bront. And uh, tell him we need drinks and a bed now. He he goes. Mm. He he grabs onto your necklace, pulls it off, puts it over, and just kind of like puts it over his own head. Grabs two tankards already full of ale and just carries you in the tankard. The fireman carries you off. In. All right. Go up behind Thember and just give him big, like, wrap my arms around him. And kind of just relax. He, he kind of back, leans back. And... Sounds like everything went well. It was like it was a cakewalk. Sounds like we're going to have a bit of a journey. Need a full new, of a new layer. <sighs> I bet we can do a better one this time. Karad is just the it grabs an ale and just gets into the corner of a tavern. The back. We'll have Syra. <laughs> um, probably actually pull, like, grab two tankards of ale and honestly hand one to Syra. Kind of just like, we did good. <laughs> Syra will, will take that tankard and you'll see her. Which I don't think anyone other than Holly has really seen her. Kind of just let her hair down, kind of shake her head, just let her hair be all disheveled and wild. Like you know what? I think we've earned a we've earned some uh, some downtime and literally let her hair down and relax. It's like we're going home tomorrow. <laughs> just ecstatic <clears throat> uh Lasser has some private time with her uh the party goes on uh quite to the quote unquote wee hours of the uh eventually I'm sure all of you turn to your rooms take a long rest I apply some of the ointment that I've had forever onto Krat, uh, to Thember to help, like, the healing. The healing. The healing. Sexual healing. And you wake up in the morning. I hope Not that ointment didn't have an expiration anymore. date. Go out into the common room. Happy is uh, at the bar. Uh, actually, you, you come out into 
the first person who ever ends up being the come out into the uh, uh, common room will see it's still a god awful mess from the night before. Happy had just was like, I'll take you there. Okay. <laughs> And she, but you come in and you see that she's cleaning up, but and all right, and not necessarily happy, but not sad. It was good reason. Is there any way to recompense you for all this? Well, food and drink. I mean, oh, the digger medic already took care. Okay. That's nice of them. I mean, if you want to help clean up, we'd appreci I'd appreciate That's that. That nice. would make things faster. But, uh, guys, you guys are the heroes here, so if you don't help out, I'm not going to blame you. Don't mind the mess. Otherwise, if you feel like helping, I, I um, appreciate it. I won't I, stop you. There's no way I could come back home and, and leave this mess. Mother would never have it. And she'll... Uh... Let's see, what was that spell? Press the digitate. Yeah, yeah. Press the digitate plus tensor's floating disk just to kind of help carry out garbage and other things out of the way. Definitely would start to help, like, start cleaning up and. I'd order a drink, uh, sit down, and put my uh, foot on the table. And lean back. Uh, little Watch as everyone's cleaning. Little Borkad uh, uh, jumps onto the table and just kind of curls up. Brad, you making making breakfast? Of course. Remember, remember uh, Pet comes out with you. And uh, finds a, a table with Lyra. Uh, anyone a... wanted? A charisma cooking pencil stand. Probably at this point in time, aren't in a rush. Take your time to do it. Ooh. You're wow. a little, still a little tired from the day before, but the food is good. That Not amazing, tube. but it's good. Wow. It'll encourage, uh, Thimber will encourage you to sit next to him. Leave it. Your last week down here. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do now. any shopping before we go upside? Top side? Fuck. Top side. Well, nothing says that you can't come back here eventually. I'm Just... never coming back here willingly. Well, this is Karad's home, after all. I mean... Oh, well, yeah, of course. He can come back. I'm not. <coughs> a, uh... Nurse Evelyn... ...peaks in... ...a tavern. Oh. That's clean. You're Anyways, welcome. Um, sorry. Uh, I, I got a delivery for the Wayfaring Strangers. Bigger Maddox. Little bag. Who are those guys? Oh, what's this? Put it next to the side. Uh, you know what? They didn't tell me. They just told me to deliver it to you. Uh, oh! Pulls out a Hard. Get it for traps. <laughs> Anyways, I'm serious. Thank you for your service. 
And uh, I know the uh, guides will be here in about a couple of, couple of hours. But thank you. Have a great day. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Before anyone continues to touch the box, I start to scan it for traps and stuff. Well, considering it's a bag. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I jostle the sack. <laughs> just kind of swings. Uh, from what you can tell, it looks like it's there's just one thing in there. Treasure. Yeah. Split. I mean, it doesn't we already have the best. We, we already have the best kind of treasure. French. <laughs> the but friends we made you, along you the did, way. You were given a note. A right. note? No. Go ahead and unfurl it and read it. They sent us a note? Give you a note with the package. Gift. In this case, it says, it says, People of Blingdon Stone, please accept this with our gratitude. Welcome back, and Digging it. You open up the sack and you... kind of like, uh. Okay. Oh. It took like some time to load. A stone of conjuring earth elementals. Nice. A stone of slavery. <laughs> Not a lie. So once a day, you can conjure a earth element. Oh. I'll give that to uh, Karad, actually. So you know, it's kind of a piece of home in, in a sense. So you'll never feel like you're too far away. Thank you. Excuse me. And Lassiter's still drinking. Has he has he stopped? Never. I have an empty, empty uh, space in my stomach specifically for ale and such things, and it's empty. Uh, I no. just chug whatever is in my uh, cup. Never change, Lassiter, never change. Well, I said that thing. <laughs> that certain beverage was. They don't know that. A couple hours later, another uh, a group of people in there. Uh, I am Lila, and I will be escort. Up to. Uh, it's a literal tunnel. Well, I mean, there's this entire place. I thought it was going to be like a portal or something. No, no it's, it's just tunnel. they do merch. They they literally do trade with a up like the surface. So the, there's a route. <laughs> Oh, we couldn't take this route in the first place. What was we don't know us? the route. We don't know the route, but there is I mean, a trade you know route. Where it was? No, but they could have offered to. Hey, yeah, they offered this. to help give to help us with the trade to show us the trade route in exchange for helping them out here. 
That was the whole deal. I don't think that was a worthy trade, <laughs> but whatever. We got screwed. <laughs> oh. Give me a headache. So I was packing up her multiple spell books and Jim got into her back. Keep, keep, keep the two for now. Hey, didn't I'm not sure if this was the same campaign, but didn't we have like a friend or someone that was missing a spell book? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's mine okay. now. You can't have it. <laughs> it's mine now, motherfucker. I think you. you... It's mine. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember finding a guy that lost his. Was that? I think that was Friday's game. I don't know. Never mind. It's Fellini. So while uh. Uh, gets you all together. Uh, we did did pack up some provisions for you. Uh, enough food and water. Supplies to help you on your journey. Uh, we will take you. Uh, we'll take you. Uh, our route is pretty much once you go into the tunnel I show you. Get up the way. Might be a few creatures that might like appear or something like that. But uh, for you guys, it's probably nothing. That's how the campaign ends. We all die. <laughs> all Rocks fall, you die. <laughs> after, after what, what, how you did against against the, the pudding king guy? I, just, I mean, you guys are practically gods. Nature oh. can still kill us. Nature is the strongest force in this game. Uh, after uh, packing up uh, everything. A party of eleven is is Edith coming with us? Elvis, Everyone, oldest, whatever. You. Everyone Elvis is coming with you. Always coming with you. Uh oh, nope. Jar is staying behind. Oh no, Jim Jar. No, is my Not home. No our... reason to leave. I'm gonna help with the cleanup. Everything's gonna be fine. But, hey, I'll come with you uh, to the oh. tunnel. Uh, Brad Lassiter, Prince Darendel, we have quite off coming with you. Front. As well as Ember and Ember. Knowing that um, Jim Jar is with us, I keep my gold in my pocket and keep it in my hand. As I walk. Uh, uh, on the way there, uh, they slide a cart right in. Where was it? And uh, they take you to a tunnel, which is actually that big. Uh, it is tall enough for anybody to walk, walk through, but it's just tall. Says, uh, this is this was our ingress here, and it will be your egress from the park now. Appreciate everything that you, Jim Jar. No problem. Jim Jar goes, "Hey, how about a hug to to lead by?" Eh? Oh. Eh? Of course, you, we've been together this since the capture of, of the drows. I mean. We've been through so much. Friendly, friendly hug. I uh, give no one hugs. Pat, pats on the back. <laughs> Christian side hug. <laughs> I'm, I'm, keeping my, I'm keeping my eye on him as he's giving Syrah a hug. <laughs> he's hover handing. He's fine. Him pickpocketing. Uh, he looks like he's just authentically saying goodbye to some friends. Sure. I believe you for now. 
I don't have any proof right now, but if we get to the surface and there's one gold missing, I'm coming back for you. Master. Uh, 20. Fuck. 20? Yeah. Hey, run, big buddy! Run's like, just kind of like, <laughs> oh, fine. Hey, fine. Uh, uh, hugs, hugs for most people. I give um, him a fist bump. He, 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 he it, you, you go to fist bump, and he, he actually, uh, uh gra grabs your forearm and pulls you into a hug. There you go. <laughs> so, um, ass, you're such a great guy. And I want to resist. Kind of backs up, backs up, and he watches you as, as you exit, and he goes, Lassiter! Ding! Fuck you. And a gold coin comes flying at you. <laughs> you catch it, and you realize it was... <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give, I'll give anyone this gold coin if anyone like shoots him with anything. Why don't you shoot him with something? Cause I'm not a bad guy. Throw one more rock you, to the road. You, Why not? You you want to <laughs> someone to shoot him? How does that not make you a bad guy? I'm not the one that's doing it. Don't you see? You're commissioning it. Commissions, commission. Some people gotta get paid somehow. Just uh, do it. Sorry, right. Sorry, right. You, you get uh, right here on. And uh, members here. This might be a little rough. Have that. I could ride. I don't see why not. She will produce the floating disc. She <laughs> will, will climb up and try to help uh, come beyond it. And... Thank you for helping me. Anything for a, a friend of Karad. Or I could have just like summon an earth elemental. <laughs> Is it a infinite thing, or does it have charges? I can use it once a day. Actually? Oh, okay. I didn't read the details, if there were any. Yeah. <laughs> Summon a gurpader. <laughs> I think the Cyro ritually casting the loading disc every once in a while. Mm -hmm. How long does it I believe it's an hour. Yes, one hour. But at the 40 minute, like the, the 50 minute mark, you could just ritually cast it again and then. So you do have stops every hour or so. So. You but it's probably getting a little bit faster than uh, Ember was actually talking on. Ember is too small to like. Uh, For now. Motley crew. Uh, it does take a while. It, it is a long route. Uh, as you exit cavern, it is dark. Um, there's a path leading. Uh, but you're found it. Um, the entrance isn't very is seems to be hidden. Um, so it's not like it's easy to find. We're coming out of it for it. But you are able to exit. 
trying to pass, but it is. Uh, I, <clears throat> I can't wait to feel the sun on my face again tomorrow. It's going to feel so strange. Uh, yeah, sure. One last, uh, camp for the adventure. I don't know if I'll even be able to sleep tonight. Cause we're Remember, finally going, we're finally here. Remember, Bronson and I could take the first watch if y'all want. Thunder, Thunder kind of moves, moves. Clearing. A space. And all of a sudden, Thorgar, but as tall as Karad, but built dwarven size, suddenly starts growing larger, larger, into alt red dragon. Some. Burn flesh. Oh my gosh, it's worse than I thought. Oh. Oh. He just kind of curls up on the on the ground. Ground and just kind of is at the, the clearing, giving you enough you know, all enough space around. You're so big. <laughs> I'll go up to him and slowly apply more ointment, like last little bit of the ointment, and might as well uh, have him slowly drink the potion of supreme healing. He appreciates. Uh, you do see some of the burn go away, but it. While it does seem to have done quite a bit, yeah. um, his wounds still seem quite serious. Um, not, I forget not why. Will heal. Why didn't my healing work last time? Or did I even try? May have worked. Okay, well. The... Not doing that shit again. Your wounds. There you go. <laughs> he gets 27 in heals if it works. Still, any patches of flesh underneath his scales have healed quite a bit, but still a bunch of scales that back. Not something that's necessarily thing we do, because he's still essentially healed, it's just like that's as much as I can do for you, man. I am just gonna have to bear with it. Sarah will ask Karad for some of that that, that uh, healing ointment. Just kind of help spread it around him. How much ointment do you have? That's it. That's the last oh. bit. Okay. Oh, Sarah will help you. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a big guy now. So. <laughs> oh, he had two charges left, so. No. Um, yeah, uh... If y'all want, me and Rock can take first watch. Uh, Karad, are you cooking? Uh, I can cook for the last time, yeah. Take some of the pr provisions. Uh, you do that there are some favorite spices that the happy had on hand. I have uh, extra mushrooms if you want. 
I don't think those mushrooms are uh, a good idea. Uh, mushrooms are mushrooms. Well, you can add it to yours. Uh, yeah. I think I've had enough mushrooms for a very long time. Did we lose when? Uh, well, I know oh. I know my my Discord still. You just have to reconnect as the camera comes back. Oh. Uh, somebody's going. There you are. You all have a, a nice um, final dinner, but the evening seems to go by. Hey, at least. Your, your uh, content last where you do hear a creature approach, but then all of a sudden there's a blast of fire that come off from your, comes from your left. And you see uh, a couple of deer are just hard and bald, bald to the Ember says. Uh, sure. <laughs> Won't argue or say no to a fire-breathing dragon. Are you crazy? <laughs> I would lift both of them up if I could, but you know, I'm weak. Front is probably more helpful. Over in a uh, quick gulp and crunch of crunch of ember chod scarf shot. I like it up here. Uh. I hope neither one of those were pregnant or, you know, <laughs> had a family. That would be a boring meal. <laughs> Sick. You do hear, hear some as as uh, wants to sudden burst of flame. You see some of the tree that kind of caught fire, but it was because uh, it was such a blast are we on the surface yeah oh okay well, and then you clearing. said there's a forest with a path. the entrance to the <laughs> to, to, to the to the ca uh, the cave that you came through was well appeared to be well hidden wow. okay you, ca you came and it was Um, um, I wanna, I wanna cast sending, with somebody. um, I wanna send a message to, um, my old, I don't know, captain or whatever he would be counted as and just say, I'm back, bitch. That's all. Uh, you get a response is like, <laughs> "Oh fuck!" And I just continue watch. Oh, whatever. Why well, watch goes by uneventfully? Um, I shall. Uh, right. We gotta pick up, pick two people. Uh, I pick Holly. Who do you pick? Ron pokes, uh, Darindel. Keep watching. Yeah. Right Holly and Darindel are roused up. I uh, go over. What does it mean? Go over and gently tap Holly. 
of Holly. I, uh... <clears throat> wakes just... up just flailing to his punch. She doesn't right. get waking up for watches. Uh, roll me an attack. Go ahead. Twenty two. Um <laughs> old punch date. Five. As for take five points of bludgeoning uh, damage if hit by a water gymnast. Five. Um great. Um nice chat. Um and I go over and uh poke at Zyra. No, no, uh Prince Darendel was waking up. Okay. Fire off. <laughs> she punches you too. Oh, come on, Miss Holly. <laughs> Ron already woke him up. Um oh, Miss Holly Holly? I'd be glad to watch. Next thing you know, for the players, uh, the sun starts rising on the horizon. Brad, you've only seen something similar to this one. Except it's a little bit odd. Brad, think about this. Morning. Freak the fuck out. Guys, it's morning time. What the fuck? Don't worry, Karad. It's just the sun. Sun natural. <laughs> It wraps itself around you. Simba chart, not yeah. Simba chart, yeah. Oh, awesome! I said it's okay. Simba chart could uh fly you up there one day, maybe. He 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 kind of flexes one of his wings. Mattered. Says, one day. Uh, not right now. I mean, I don't know how hot it is up there, but. I'm pretty sure the filling of the sun could should be pretty nice on your skin. Lasseter doesn't know science. So no. this is pretty genuine. <laughs> genuine whatever. Well say what's genuine? Is that like a new brand? I, f I fixed it. Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> does anyone know where we are? Got a clue. I mean, we were all dragged <laughs> down there, so there's not a clear idea of where we are, but. There is I think at, I think at one point I had to feed, uh, Keen Mine. But we switched it out because we figured out that uh, it's pretty useless in the Underdark. So I don't know where we are. Oh, I mean, you would have a dead. <laughs> you would know which way was the north. Yeah. When, what, doesn't Keen Mind also give him, like, he knows always what time of day it is? Yeah, but even in the underdark, it's like kind of weird. But I know it's this time. Night time. The surface, at least. Uh, uh it, it, so you guys just go ahead and travel the path together. Uh, December job does. Down to that'd probably be underdark. a good idea. Dragons aren't very uh liked up here. Anger red. Oof. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, he is actually right. I think people would be very shocked to see you roaming around the countryside. But it is nice to be up. Uh, shall we try to find the closest village or town or ville? Following the path, uh, you can come to uh, what looks to be a well-traveled road. No signs. Path as you as you come out, realize that it. As you're getting closer, the path isn't quite as clear. But you can, at a certain point, you can see that there is a, a well-traveled ro road within. Are there any animals nearby? Uh, there are plenty of animals. There's critters, squirrels, but. So they're going to do um, speak with animals. Because of the um, the fuck you want <laughs> the stone speaker crystal. I'm going to spend two charges and um, do speak with animal to ask that like any nearby animals that they know like we're in a nearby uh, village town settlement is. Uh, one one of the uh, bird which is red crested uh what you know it robin uh uh just starts whistling at crad crad you understand that there's nearby direction there's a town in exposit all that Oh, nice. Awesome. Let's um, make our way. <clears throat> following the road, which seems to be probably about an hour or two, um, come to a town find that says Redlark. Do I know where this is? Natural 20. Is uh, oh, no, water... this isn't the one I wanted. Is Waterdeep and Sword Coast, or it, yeah, yes. Waterdeep is the capital of the Sword Coast. Oh, okay. I probably I'd say I come from Waterdeep. If that matters. Red uh, based off oh. of based off the direction that you had, you probably came from Arden. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I know exactly where we are. Oh, thank goodness. At least one of us does. Um. Heading into a town, you do a uh, inn called the Brawn and Courtier. Excuse me. 
It's Thanks. been so, so long since we've been in the proper town. Can't believe it. <laughs> all the um, noise, the smells. Uh, all, I missed all of it. <laughs> just go Russian and say, uh, L, stat. Uh, you see a, a tall, uh, well aged thing. Uh, wearing some armory. Other women. Women. Uh, you do see a uh, elf. Uh, elf girl along with the um, another half elf uh, girl sitting. Sitting at a table, and he kind of looks and is like, like, oh, customers. I was waiting for a letter. Why hasn't it arrived yet? I have no idea. Says, don't don't worry, honey. I'm sure it's gonna. Be... I told Omen to send it ASAP. Why has he not said that? The bartender says. My son will take care of it. Don't worry about it. Wow. Anyways, welcome, welcome. I have ales. Oh, Duragon. I haven't seen Duragon. And pulls out um, an ale for Lassiter. On the house, right? I'm just kidding. Uh, how much? For that, five gold. Five gold? What? Oh, uh, oh, sweet. Oh. Okay. You said this is Nesmine? <laughs> oh. I was reading uh, Mes uh, Blended Stones up by here. <laughs> Mithril Hall. <laughs> well, the path ended up coming out here. I'm calling that you're in Red Larch. It's timey wimey. <laughs> Um, thank you. Uh, uh, I'm, I was trying to think, does, uh, do I know if the Underdark time and not Underdark time is, uh, the same? Roll me a nature check. The Underdark is just the underground of the actual natural world, so you can go into a different dimension. Or... Okay. So it's the exact same time. Um. Hmm. So at this I, point... I don't know. I got a drink. At this point, you all are at the Trondon Courtier. Lurch. Guys, can have nothing to do now. Have an idea of where you are, Thyra. Uh, do you remember where you're from? Uh, she would go shopping for a map and probably go try and try and a uh, buy a horse and get ready to get back home. Uh, easy enough uh probably even if you buy a horse it's probably going to be about 10 gold for the horse app is only yeah so she will basically be <clears throat> out getting ready for her travels home and you know, saddling up to try and leave for the next day uh probably Ember, Thember, and Crad will probably do the same. Just start getting ready to explore. Find where their new home's going to be. And she'll, Syro will point out where her home is. And if you, if you feel like you need a place to stop and rest and stay, you're more than welcome to come by. We'll provide a comfortable and plentiful lodgings for everybody. Thank you. 
Uh, Rot, Holly, do y'all know where y'all's uh, clans or tribes? I don't know. Uh, well, if, it, if Hol uh, Syra, like, sure, perhaps, or we'll look. Because, uh, yep. my clan is actually on the other side of the group. Far to the, far to the. What was it called? Is it on the map? Uh, technically, no, but it's far. Okay. Yeah, I, I was just, I was trying to find, <laughs> but okay. Uh, you said a long way? Was, can you carry me? I'm just kidding. I can walk. Oh, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be, uh... Dejected at the idea of being carried all the way there. Yeah. Holly? Um... Good question. If you're going to the east, you're welcome to join us. Page will tell you trying to figure that out. I, I think I'll make for water deep passage practical. Oh, and I'll be down here in Candle Keep. Watch your wallets. Candle Keep? Maybe we mm -hmm. can travel together on your way to, down south. Water deep is on the way. Of course. I mean, better stay together than. Travel separately. Ah. Oh, uh, the tri uh, Holly's tribe is in a small area, like down here. So she would start traveling to where they were. Um, so like right now, or well, in the tomorrow? morning. <laughs> yeah. When everyone else leaves, she'll leave. I mean, by this time, it's like noon. She actually might start going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's been nice, Holly. I hope you're. Shooting you uh. Like oh. Did everyone hear that? Uh, yeah. Not quite. No. What was it? Uh, she would just leave. She's not gonna say goodbye. She doesn't like anyone. <laughs> Bye. There's no stool. There's no stool. There's no baby, so she doesn't care. <laughs> Well, she she's been a character. I I was never able to quite figure her out. No one was. Did we did we see her leave though? She wouldn't no, no, have no, was she being it. stealthy or did she just leave? She just leave. She just leave. leave. So <laughs> you guys all might have come in had some mail. Are you sleeping? Well, it's midday. Okay. Like, we're all trying to just figure out our plan. And I'm like, well, Holly would just leave. Like, she wouldn't wait till the next day. Like, some people are waiting for the next day. Yeah, like, if, it's over, like, if everything is over, she would just wait until everybody wasn't paying attention and it's the car. Okay. So, she would wait till the moment that she's... Uh, I, have, uh, I would like Holly to roll me a stealth check. You guys probably want to She drank from the water. No, we're not. We're um up here. A long he says stealth, uh, stealth check. Oh, not at all. 
Yeah. But she also doesn't care. If anybody says says anything to her, she just say anything. Huh? And she's walking off. Sarah just Sarah just yelled her, "I'm still prettier than you." (laughs) Only just kind of flips her brain. The important things. She's the important fact. I mean, she's being like half playful with it. I mean, we all kept each other alive. Uh, well, Prince, uh, Prince Darendel will say, uh, "My my kingdom is in the high forest nearby." Um, we oh my God! You wanna you wanna travel with me and Ron until we get there? Uh, I think I'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think no one likes us. <laughs> well, this says, well, I'm going to be heading up to Mr. Hall. I thought we'd be clo- much closer, but apparently the, the, you know, our, our egress was much farther from Mr. Hall. Than I think. Raspberry lemonade? Sure. I'm, I'm glad you all have no, plans. No, I actually like that. Rest and relax. Uh, get rested uh, the very next day. I drink all night. Uh, you get rooms. You get the, the one health. Grid. Apparently, it's harassed by. Uh, mm-hmm. And she's talking at him. Being very uh. Finally, her package <laughs> arrives. Hey, your package arrived. Yes, business. That's fine. For room. And um, you, at this point, it's this is the hardest part of yeah. Um... But. <laughs> Uh, Thember says, says, Lord. You going to the south? Good luck. Um, there's a lot of grass, rocks trees Just don't mm. you know go on a killing burning spree and then the destruction that's good they might send people to hunt you down one day even if you're not doing anything they might just send people to hunt you down or a group of adventurers might you know find you and not ask questions and just take you down Maybe. Unless you take them down. Anyone that's not coming along with Sarah, she'll just, before she goes, she'll just kind of press digitate everybody, kind of fix their hair, their clothes, just make them look all Uh, thick and span and fresh. You've Uh, never seen Lasseter all, um, like, groomed or anything. (laughs) She's doing extra hard work to just make everything look shiny and new and all fancy as best as she can. Liz, uh, grabs a horse. Um, he grabs a horse and uh, says goodbye and heads north. Hi, Sarah. Wait, who? Oh, Eldis. Okay. Eldis from Starendel. Found a nice staff. Starts heading toward uh, east to the high forest. Uh, say to Ron, you want to just immediately go east, or do you want to like stop somewhere, stock up on supplies? Oh, we got plenty. For... Got some. Time. Besides, All right. used to reference. 
Okay. I'll yeah, leave it. Also head east, but a little the way Prince got Lily. Yeah. Um, Even though it's directly east, he just yeah he needs goes. to go around the the his star mount. Okay. Yeah. There's probably like right. Um, Ember looks at you, Karad, and says. I might make out your Got no qualms with that. Cyro engage. Um Gage recommends Why not? We've been gone this long. I mean what's you know guys get a cart? Easily drawn by one horse. And start heading south. Couple days pass. I'll leave. I'll read already know. I was gonna say that I would find something. Brad, although he's good. You guys would use find something. On your person, that you could fall upon her if you need her for him. Hmm. But since she's already gone, that's my additional poly stuff. Yeah, uh, he said like um, she would have left behind some things, probably a little token, uh, so that um, you'd basically be able to call upon her if you needed help. A little token. Look at that bitch. So, uh, some denouement for uh, Brad. December, after uh, a couple days rest around a courtier, uh, you realize that apparently around a courtier is also the of the Acquisitions Incorporated C. Uh, but uh, December says, I think I'm ready. Let's go to and he leads you east. Doesn't seem to really need And once you're uh you go into wooded area um hearing enough. I think I can fly. Transform it into an adult red dragon form. Down. Climb on. Will help her to climb up onto his back. Brad, do you climb on? Oh, yeah. He, f he flies up into the air and starts flying over the high forest directly south. Um, you find some uh, mountains. You're flying at a pretty high altitude. Uh, it feels odd. Fresh air, bright skies. Sun face? Not a vibe. And he finds a um he finds a finds a mountain rain. Out in here he says feel something calling me further south. I feel this might be home. What a dragon. Our dragon flies down in a a large cavern entrance uh, high on a 
a what seems to be a relatively deserted hill. Going inside, you see what looks to be a place hard to live. And we're home. Looks good enough. Laster, um, Ron takes you both far to the takes several days to actually leave the Sword Coast behind get deeper into Faerun where you are led to where a tribe of orcs mostly male seem to have set up camp there's tears of joy as many of the the orcs uh, find, see Ront and speaking in Orcish, they welcome him back. And they ask about, what's this human? He says. Is this all an orc? Yes. I understand orc, by the way, so. I know. That's why okay. I'm saying this all in English. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Lasser just says, I'm in heaven. And we'll just leave it at that. Oh. Tyra, you're, you and Gage uh, make it to Waterdeep. Uh, Gage uh, uh, does contact form your embassy that's in Waterdeep for uh, a teleportation taken back to court. She'll give a, a heartfelt first, you know, being the proper lady, she'll give her her proper bow, as she was taught to do, but and then she'll kind of lunge forward and give him a big hug and just, you know, stay safe. And He awkwardly hugs you back. If, like I told the others, if there's ever a need for you to stop by, then you're all, always welcome. You are welcome. And with that, she will mount up on her horse. She'll summon Sova one more time and have her fly with her as she rides down the road. It takes a while because the, it's a long road getting from here to here. Sorry. Uh, but eventually we are able to make it back to home. Happy to. And that friends where we're gonna end uh, you know it's not all the way through the module but uh, scheduling this took so long to do <coughs> um but uh, who knows maybe in the future everything uh picks up or things things happen pick up where this is left off yeah you never know Last time. Good night, everybody.